know what? I need to do something. I need to get myself healthier. Maybe you've had a wake up call or maybe you're just like, you know what? I just need to do this. So this is a starting point. This is kind of like couch to 5k only it's for getting healthier, not necessarily running a 5k. So this is the first installment. This is step one. And if you read the information that you got in your download, uh, what you do is you start with step one and you do it for seven days and then you add step two. So now you're doing step one and step two for seven more days and then you go to step three and add three and so on and so on and so on. And when you get to 10 weeks, you should have completely overhauled your lifestyle and now you've got a healthier lifestyle. And it might take you longer than 10 weeks. If you stumble around on step three, you just stay in step three until it becomes a habit. So this is step one. And step one is this, drink more water, right? That's an easy way to start. You're just going to add more water to your day, right? That's not too hard to start. Not starting with any crazy workout program. We're not going to deprive ourselves of anything. We're just going to start with drink more water. Now let me give you a few facts before I give you the guidelines and what to do. So we are made of two, two thirds of our bodies made of water. So we need water. 100% of the bodily processes that we need to do every day involves water. Water keeps you hydrated, especially in warm weather or when you're exercising. It aids in your digestion, so you need it to be able to digest properly. It fights fatigue, so you know when you're going through your day and you're starting to feel a little tired, like that two o'clock, three o'clock slump, it might be because you're dehydrated. You don't have to be super thirsty to be dehydrated. You can be dehydrated and not even realize it. You just start to feel a little fatigued, a little sluggish, things like that. It'll improve your mood because if you're not fatigued and sluggish, you're going to feel better and you're going to have a better mood. It keeps your kidneys in tip top shape. Your kidneys need water to flush things out of them that they're pulling out of your body that your body doesn't need. So your kidneys need water. It gives you energy because you're not dehydrated and you're not feeling sluggish. It can aid in weight loss. How, you say? Because if you are giving yourself enough water, you're going to, have a, you're going to feel fuller for longer amounts of times. Did you know that sometimes when you feel hungry, you're actually thirsty? So if you try water first before you go and get a snack out of that vending machine at work, you're going to get zero calories and a lot more health benefits. And studies have shown that it may, drinking enough water in your, in your daily diet, may help you uh, fight, um, prevent bladder cancer, colon cancer, and breast cancer. So that right there's three really good reasons to add more water to your day. All right, so how much are you supposed to have? Two schools of thought. One is you should drink one half your weight in ounces. So if you weigh 130 pounds, that means you should drink 65 ounces of water each day. So whatever you weigh, divide it in half, that's the amount of ounces you should have a day. The other school of thought is eight eight ounce glasses of water, so 64 ounces a day. So whichever one you feel is going to work for you, I guess you can just do that one, right? So those are the two, those are the two guidelines, the two schools of thought. Now here's some tips on how to get more water into your day. Because you might be thinking, I don't know how I'm going to how I'm going to be able to drink that much water. Drink throughout the day. Get yourself a nice Get yourself a good water bottle. This is one that I got free with a with a um, a class I was doing. But you can buy these in the grocery store. These ones that are um, that are insulated are great because they keep your water nice and cold all day long. So that's good. So get yourself a good container that you can keep with you all day long and refill as you need. Drink before meals. So uh, again, guidelines are two eight ounce cups of water before you eat. So right there, if you do that right before you eat. Um, you've got 8, 16, 8, 12, 6, 6, 12, 18, no, 8. If you're do, doing 8, 24 ounces right there before each meal. So that's helpful. Um, drink before and after exercise so you keep yourself hydrated and stay hydrated after you sweat while you're exercising. If you're feeling tired, 
you're feeling hungry or thirsty, drink some water before you do anything else because you might be dehydrated and then that's why you're feeling hungry, thirsty, or fatigued. Um, now, here's a way to keep track. Like, how am I going to keep track of all these ounces I'm supposed to have? You can use the rubber band method. So, these are rubber bands. My container uh, holds 16 ounces. So, I should have four rubber bands. Four rubber bands on the top. I only have three, so I need to get another one. But, as I would drink a container full of water, I would just move this rubber band to the bottom. Now, I only need to do three more if I had my total number that I need here. And then, when I drink another one, I move it down. And then a third one and then a fourth one so that's a really really simple way for you to keep track you can write it down um some things like fitbit have a place to put in in uh in your tracking system how many ounces of water you've had and you can keep track through the day so the, that is uh the, re the facts the guidelines and the tips to help you drink more water so for the next seven days shoot for at least 64 ounces of water each and every day and you're going to see a difference in how you feel without doing anything else. So good luck with step one. It's a simple one. It's something that you can incorporate today for the next seven days. So thanks for being here. And we'll see you when you get to day number eight. All right, see ya. Good luck now. You can do it.